Hello, I'm Dr. Norman Wood of Mountaineer Sports, and it is Friday, May 29, 2009, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Just a little bit breezy. There's some rain far off, so uh, we're going to try to make this quick. What I'm going to do is stimulate, uh, simulate a, a one-man rescue. Daryl Smith, my partner, he's going to be uh, hanging from the bucket as he is uh, injured, and then I'm going to come out of the bucket, descend down to him, hook up. I want to be a, a static strap. Uh, that I'll hook between myself and uh, his harness and then I'll hook another strap that'll go from me down to a carabiner on a rescue loop on his harness and back up to his brake so I will actually be controlling his brake when I pull his pin he's going to drop about two feet and at that point that strap is going to tighten up the carabiner that the strap goes through is going to work as a fulcrum so as he drops I'm going to be pulling on his brake strap and then he's going to stop and then as I lower myself with my brake, which will be attached to my uh, leg uh, strap. I'll have a leg strap that attaches to my uh, brake strap, and that's what's going to be controlling my brake as I raise and lower my leg. And that way I have both hands uh, free to uh, assist the injured worker, and uh, we'll just descend both at the same time, uh, and we'll get him back down to the ground safely, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> you all right? Okay, what I've done, I've hooked up with my static strap to him, and I've already hooked up to his brake strap, and I'm going to pull his pin, and he's going to drop about two feet, at which time he's going to stop, and then I'm going to lower his boat using my brake and his. Now I've got him controlled with his brake and my brake, and as I loosen up my brake, it's going to allow that slack to go into the strap, and we're both going to descend. Okay, general. 